So here we go. I'm going to be modifying my 2012 FJR 1300 to be a 4-2 header system instead of being a 4-2-1. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Before I get into it, you can see there that the header is H together. Not really a Y, it's more of an H. And there's two Kelly converters in there. So we're going to go ahead and uh, make this a 4-2 header. And I'm not going to go into how to take all the body plastics and everything off because, well, there's already videos on that. But what I haven't seen is somebody modify the stock header to be a 4-2 header. So we're going to go ahead and give that a shot. All right, so as you can see, we're quite a ways into it. Now we're going to remove the radiator and everything that's attached with it. The uh, fairings came off really easy. No big deal. And there's what we're trying to get after. There's that header that's tucked up in there. It's not too bad. But we're going to go ahead and get that bad boy off. And I guess next I should probably also remove the slip-ons that are on there as well. And here we go. Stones of the mile nature, or milestones as most people call them, are uh, completed. So there's the header is dropped down now. It's super easy to remove. Pull the oxygen sensor out. There's one bolt on each side of the uh, center stand there. And then you just remove all these 8mm Allen cap uh, nuts, screws, whatever threaded things that are Allen's. Um, Allen! And uh, yeah, so now I just had one exhaust gasket fall out. Not too bad. Perfect. Now I can get this thing completely out of the way and go ahead and start doing the modifications I want to do to it. So it looks at first glance, let's slide this a little bit without making too much of a racket. Yep, so it looks like I should be able to just cut a slit all the way through, slide in a piece of metal, weld it, and then grind off the excess uh, material for two header. Now this, I found this and thought, oh, that's interesting. Those do not look like a pass-through. It does look like... Let's see if we can get this over here. It does just look like... pieces that are just welded on to brace the header. It does not look like a crossover. I could be wrong. I might be wrong. I'm probably wrong. But um, I'm not too concerned about that. I'm more concerned about I want dual exhaust. So that's what I'm going to do. And before anybody says anything, the Delkevic exhaust, which is what I was going to purchase and put on this bike, it only reads off of this bank of cylinders anyway. So cylinders three and four, it only reads off of those on the Delkevix, which is a four two. It does not add another oxygen sensor, so you get the readings off of one and two. You only get three and four. Did I say one and two? Whatever. You know what I mean. So now I'm going to go ahead and start the modification process. Yay. This is exciting. This is exciting. And I'm going to get a full coolant change and everything in the process. So get that 2012 coolant out and put in some 2020. Uh-oh. Oh. But the question is, do I actually want to put 2020 coolant in there? Maybe not. You know what I do want to do, though? That's a little bit better. Okay, fast forward a couple hours. So here's the plate that divides and some extra cuts got made so I'm not exactly sure what happened there. But I'll go ahead and make sure to weld these up as well when I weld this plate in between here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get working on that. Um, it's kind of kind of weird, they go all the, actually they go all the way around, huh? Well, that's weird. Well, I'll go ahead and weld it back together, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it, it's fine, it's fine. I love gold. Oh wait, wrong reference. As you can see here, I got this seam that runs all the way down through on both sides. And then I don't know what happened here, but some 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 pieces fell out um, when I was putting in that plate. These just fell out, so I I'm not exactly sure what happened there, but uh, yeah, I went ahead and welded up the holes that they left behind. Yeah, these little round things. I don't know what happened. They just fell out. It's really really weird. Anyways, I don't know. I don't know. It should do though. It's it's separated in half, and it's got that divider right in there, and there's just a little tiny. I use this piece of metal. There's just a little tiny hole right there, and I placed that strategically up in front here, so there still is a little tiny passageway between there. Not that it'll do anything, but you know, it's there. It's it's a it's a it's a four two one. This is totally a four two one. It's not a four two at all. Yeah, there we go. Good times. Um, so I'll get it thrown on the bike, and then we'll go over. Oh, and always proper safety attire. Always, never ever ever go outside barefoot in a garage with metal shavings. It's a bad idea. Ask me how I know. 
So let's do it. The mufflers are just hanging on there. Don't don't have a don't have a conniption fit. It's okay. Yep, mm-hmm, that's what I was after, mm-hmm, yep, that's good, that's good, well, now I gotta finish putting it back together, don't worry, it's fine, it doesn't need cooling, it's fine. Don't worry about that. That's fine. It's fine. 